You have the rare distinction of being the first female master blender. And I was hoping you could tell me and my viewers a little bit about what that means. I have the very um, delicious pleasure in my job of having to nose and taste the spirit right from the spirit of the still through the many years of active maturation to selecting casks for the whiskies in front of you, Ochentoshan, Glengarry and Bomore, and some really old and vintage expressions as well. This means I have to sample around 5,000 casks per year and it's around 110,000 since my time in the industry. So it's no surprise I get told by whiskey lovers and aficionados throughout the world I've got the best job the in the world. Best job in the world. Um, master blender, the title must mean something. So is there a certain level of accreditation or, um, or time in the industry? What specifically does it mean? It's, it's experience. 110,000 casts I think counts for something. I have a chemistry degree which is one way in mm -hmm. to the industry um, or through experience. So a combination of an understanding of science and technology and also nosing and tasting lots and lots of samples. I have a, pro a professional certificate in spirits as well. So there's no kind of hard and fast way. Mm -hmm. um, it's mostly experience. So where did this start for you, this, um, this olfactory sense of expertise? My first experience was really my grandmother's, um, who always had a bottle of Glengarry in the house, and she always gave me some of her nippy juice um, <laughs> when she was, you know, when I was ill or pretended to be ill, and just, you know, grew to love the kind of beautiful aromas and tastes in um, single malt whiskey. How does chemistry translate into into having a nose or a taste for whiskies? During my degree I sort of understood the theory and the practice of distillation, you know, what comes to make all these wonderful flavours that you can get from malted barley, water and yeast. I like to think of it as being very similar to a musician um, who learns the theory of music and then develops to compose. I know one of the areas that you're particularly passionate about is women and whiskey or introducing women to darker spirits. Um, it's, it seems to be a little bit of a, a man's club, the liquor industry in general, and I would imagine that Scotch whiskey even more so. What has that experience been like for you? Well, it's been a wonderful journey in the past yeah. 21 years. A lot more women are kind of wakening up to the wonders and the beauty of single malt whiskey. But given that it's sort of unknown territory for women, what's in this portfolio, what's a, a Scotch whiskey that someone like myself, who's sort of a novice, might find a good entry point? I would say um, Ockentoshan, which is our triple distilled okay. um, single malt whiskey. It's particularly delicate okay. and gentle in flavours. So it has citrus fruits like grapefruit and clementine, mm -hmm. along with mm. soft vanilla and coconut. And who doesn't love vanilla? You know, it's the most enjoyed um, aroma in this world. And when you taste it, you know, it's so silky. It's like a gentle mm -hmm. silk caress. So it's the one which I think would be most accessible to most people. Okay. You're looking for a delicate, delicious whiskey to drink. <laughs> if you're a little bit more adventurous in taste, mm -hmm. as many of us women are, you could go for a Glengarry, okay. which is the and richest, And this is the spice that you grew up on, This correct? is the one I grew up on. <laughs> okay. This is my... Um, home um, dram <laughs> and uh, the Giri means the granary of Scotland okay. and um, I grew up in farming country it's surrounded by the best barley in Scotland here okay. and all the smells of the barley the sweet spiciness of the barley very wholesome rich and all of that comes through in the whiskies if you enjoy Salty, I like the looks of this one savory mm -hmm. flavors if you like barbecued food and smoked salmon, oysters. If you love these salty flavors, mm -hmm. you're gonna love a Bumore from Isla. It was the first Isla malt in 1779 to distill with um, peated malted barley. Okay, and what mm -hmm. the peat does is it burns, it uh, gives you this wonderful um, fragrant smoke that sticks onto the barley and goes right through the process. So you get this subtle smokiness, mm -hmm. and this is unique in the world of spirits. You know, to have this salty, savoury flavour as well as citrus and sweetness, all of this in the glass, you know, it really is um, a delicious, um, full flavoured but perfectly balanced um, spirit to drink. Um, and with all that in one glass, who needs food? <laughs> I can't wait to try it.